Donny, 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 this is probably the hardest soft Brexit letter that I've ever had to write in my life. I've put this off for over nine months, but my family insist now is the right time. Look, over 43 years, we had our ups and downs. Gosh, remember how we laughed in Strasbourg when we overheard Uncle Sylvia commenting about the size of Auntie Angela's bottom? But I digress. As you know, nine months ago, the kids were invited down to breakfast at the big table where they were asked, one way or the other, whether we should proceed with our trial separation. Well, it was a difficult choice for them to make. Amid all the distractions, Uncle Boris parked his bus in front of the house. You remember the one with all those impossible numbers written on the side. And of course, Uncle Nigel stood on the White Cliffs of Dover, as usual, shouting rude words across the English Channel. Well, Donny, I'm sorry to tell you that five of the kids said you should leave while slightly less than five of the kids said that you should remain. The slightly less than three other kids, well, they stayed in their beds, so no more breakfast for them, ever. After Uncle David had listened to everyone's opinions, he asked to be excused from the table. The kids did not hear him at first, as his mouth was full of bacon. How ironic. And where was I during this breakfast debate? Well, I thought it best to play hide-and-seek in the pantry with Uncle Jeremy. So, Donny, I really hope we can make this an amicable split. I'll promise not to cut up your silk ties or scratch your BMW if you promise not to publish those private photographs on the internet. But I do just have a few teeny-weeny requests before we say au revoir. My kids would still like to visit you, so could you ensure that all your doors and windows are left fully open? Meanwhile, I'm installing new deadlocks, as your family seem to want to drop by willy-nilly. Now, were the children to twist an ankle or graze a knee while visiting, I would sincerely hope you would still kiss it all better and give them an unconditional hug. Unfortunately, we are currently unable to deal with any of your family's ailments as Uncle David accidentally threw the old medicine cabinet into a skip. And we've just heard that the pound shop has run out of sticking plasters. Now, Granny and Grandad are really enjoying their extended holiday retirement at your summer cottage, so I trust you will not trouble them with any naughty rent increases or any nasty eviction notices. So we both realise that our families are more secure when we work intelligently together. So once you do agree to my terms, I'll make sure no one puts any dog poo through your letterbox. I'll leave you with that veiled thought as I sign off now in preparation for the arrival of another important statesman. Coincidentally, his name is also Donald, although his hands are much smaller than yours. This is Maisie May, wishing you the best, but expecting the worst. Kissy kissy!